Will the next Porsche 911 GT3 get more power? What do you think, AK? Maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, probably not. Oh. That's what I'm saying. But for good reason. The redesigned Chrysler 300 SRT gets caught out in the open, and uh, big tractor trailers driving themselves? Uh, yeah, that's happening. And some information about a few Porsche firsts. Plus, we have your FLD question of the day. That's right, coming from you. Hello, everybody. How's your day going? You know, how's your day going so far? Anyone ask you that today? Well, I'm glad to hear. If it's good, good. Well, I'm Derek D, and we're gonna make it better. Because now you're watching Fast Lane Daily. I mean, am I right? Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> So some news coming through about Porsche's first all-electric model, which won't be their only first, no, because a hydrogen model is also being planned. Both will ride on, both will ride on a new platform that is stiffer to protect the battery and hydrogen fuel tanks. The EV will go by the name 718. It will make at least 420 horsepower. A lot of 420 horsepowers lately. Yeah. yeah. While achieving an electric-only range of 265 miles. Pretty good. Styling will mirror the upcoming Pajun, but have its own distinctions, of course. As for the hydrogen car, it will be called the 818, so obviously you see a pattern here. And that should launch just after the 718 in 2017 or 2018, but not before 2017 and 2016. That would be too early for the 718 and 818. Oh wait, what time is it? 1018. So, a lot of numbers there. Yeah. We've all been driving on the highway with two big tractor trailers on either side of us, right? And you just feel as if they're just closing in on you a little bit. You know, we've all been there. Yeah. Speed past them. Well, what if you got that feeling and knew that a person wasn't driving either of them? Well, that may happen with Freightliner's Inspiration Truck, which is described as the first, quote, licensed autonomous driving truck. Yeah. Currently legal for road use only in the state of Nevada, Nevada. Why is that funny? I don't know, just that it's a one state. Yeah, yeah. well, you know, it makes sense. Yeah. Other car companies have looked to Nevada first for their legal autonomous car needs. You know, having a lot of space and all. It's a state with a lot of space, mm. which if something goes wrong, you want some space. Right. The Freightliner Inspiration uses the highway pilot technology and other systems to keep the truck on the road and on course without a driver once the truck is cruising nice and safely on the highway. So the technology was tested over 10,000 miles in Germany to prove its safety and reliability. Daimler, who is the parent company of Freightliner, explained that this new way of trucking will cut fuel consumption up to 5%, improve traffic safety, and of course, allow for weird sexual trucker rendezvous while the truck is actually in motion instead of being stopped at creepy truck stops. Ugh. Hey, <laughs> I may have just added the last part, yeah. but let's be honest, we were all thinking it. All right. All right. The refreshed Chrysler 300 SRT, well, that's it right there. World Car fans snapped some pictures ahead of its launch as a 2016 model. Uh, here's what is different. You got a new grille, front bumper and LED headlights, a new spoiler, dual exhaust, and revised taillights. Power isn't confirmed, but it should remain the same at 485 horsepower with 475 pound-feet of torque. That's right, Eric Lode. And where does that come from? A 6.4 liter Hemi V8. You got a Hemi in that thing? You do. Cool. Yeah. That's uh, with an eight speed automatic transmission. Remember, uh, remember Walter White? He yeah. drove a Chrysler 300 SRT in uh, Breaking Bad. So I wonder, AK, if this new one may pop up in Better Call Saul next season. Cause he's Saul whipping the, uh, slipping Jimmy in the uh, new, uh, <laughs> new Chrysler 300 SRT. Wow. So here's some interesting news about the next generation Porsche 911 GT3 and RS. They aren't increasing power. Nope. Yeah, instead of increasing power over the 500 horses mark, Porsche decided to just put the car on a diet and just cut the weight. You know, cut the weight of the track focus 911 model. And why are you doing this, Derek D? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you asked, Erica. It's because Porsche doesn't want to make the GT3 and RS any heavier. Oh. Right. Yeah, which it would have to do, it would have to add more power, you know. So there you go. Um, so uh, 
some cooler bit of news is that a naturally aspirated engine will remain and the manual transmission will likely return, so that's cool. You got that going for him. Some good groove though in this, uh, in this Porsche video, huh? Driving and grooving. Gotta love it. All right, now it's time for your FLD question of the day. Isn't that right, AK? Yes. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, take it away, man. Yo, what's up, FLD crew? It's gonna be an FLD first. I'm in an ambulance. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a second. Wait, so stop right there. Did he just say that he is in an ambulance? I'm in an ambulance. Wow, yes, okay, that, uh, that is an FLD first. He's in an ambulance. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't believe he's driving, but uh, what is your, what's your name, by the way? Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm Mumbles. Ah, Mumbles. I, I like that nickname. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right, okay, Mumbles, uh, what is your FLD question of the day? Go. Um, my Q D is, what cars do y'all think have been ruined by designers? Cars that was your favorite, but since the redesign, you just don't like it, though. All right, so if I'm, if I'm paraphrasing here, you basically asked, what cars did you like at first, but then after a redesign, it was ruined for you? I know you said designers, but I mean, I figured you meant naming actual cars instead of naming actual people. I mean, everyone doesn't know designers' names. Uh, so, well, let me, let me ask you this. Which car is it for you? Uh, mine is the SL, the Mercedes SL series. I used to love that car. Now, I can't afford it, but I mean, you know, it's a dream car. But with the recent redesign, it just looks ugly. The Mercedes SL, huh? All right. Uh, yeah, now that, that is definitely a dream car for many people, like you said, but I don't... I don't know what past years you were referring to. You just said you didn't like the new one. I actually do like the most recent one. Um, maybe you liked the previous body style where, you know, it had the, uh, the two round headlights were kind of like attached in the front. Uh, obviously, the old, old Mercedes SLs are awesome, all of them. So I'll just assume we all dig those. I mean, that's just old school look and it's awesome. Well, uh, obviously there are a, a lot of cars right out of the gate that you wonder, eh, how did they make it to production? How did, how did that design get through? Uh, you know, like uh, Pontiac Aztec, obviously. Uh, for me, the Ford Tempo, I think, was always very hideous. The Geo Metro, the Dodge Shadow. Mm. Uh, lots of 90s cars. Uh, the, the list, I guess the list goes on and on. Um, anyway, as many of you know, I used to have a VW CC, and I loved that car, I did. And I was gonna get another one, but then they gave it a facelift with that new grill which I think is just hideous. It totally ruined that car for me. <laughs> well, the look of it, you know, yeah, not, yeah. not the inside. The inside still looks good. But I, I, I love the way the old front of that car looked. The new one is too, it's too Passat-ish to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. It, always looks, it almost looks too Passat sedan-ish to me. Uh, AK, what about you? What's, what's a car you liked and then? I don't know, Mustang is sometimes messed with a good design. I think, mess, I think they messed up a lot. Well, most famously in the 70s, they came out with that hideous Mustang too. The Mustang too was a total, you're a total yeah, redesign. Yeah. And then in the 90s, uh, well, I guess the late 80s, 90s, Mustang went through that whole weird thing. And then they got back to the, almost the old school original body style, with, which they've kind of kept for a long time right, now. Right. And now I think the Mustang looks great. So maybe that's the kind of, it kind of was good, and then it was bad, and then it was worse, and then I was like, ugh, and then it was like, okay, and then it was like, nice, again. That's kind of what <laughs> happened. So, uh, yeah, what about you guys? Anything with any? I don't like the, the Forester, the new Forester, so much. No? I like the old one. The old Subaru Forester. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, Eric, what about you? Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say I hate the new Sentra. I like my, my year. Oh, better. all right. You, so you, you don't like the design of the new Sentra? No, not all right. at all. All right, well, there you go. Uh, that's, what, that's what we think right here. So uh, anything else there, Mumbles? Yeah, I just don't understand how these car designers and with everybody that approves the process lets these horrible cars onto the road. And what's even worse is people buy them. Okay, okay. okay. I mean, wow, he is passionate. He, uh, you're, you're passionate. You really, you really hate some of these car designs that got approved. But yes, you're right. People do buy them. That's true. So um, thank you for that, Mumbles, and uh, let us know what you guys think using hashtag FLDQ of the D. By the way, 
I'm pretty sure we've never had a girl send in an FLD Q of the D. We have definitely have gotten videos from women who are fans, but never a Q of the D. So let's change that, please. Come on, ladies, send in some questions. Make them clever and creative. Beat out all these dudes. Come on, it'll be fun. Send them to? Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you. And uh, if we prefer a YouTube link, of course. That's the easiest for us. All right, so thank you very much. Uh, we look forward to seeing those. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And that is going to do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. But before we go, is there a, uh, is there a Dustin watching in Chicago right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, I hear that it is your 28th birthday today, huh? Let that soak in for a second, right? 28 years old. Going through med school in Chicago. <laughs> it's got to be tough. Well, hey, happy birthday, brother. Appreciate you being a fan. And uh, your lovely girlfriend, Brooke, got in touch with us, said uh, you even wake up in the middle of the night just to watch the show in case you forgot. And that's dedication. That's FL dedication. <laughs> it's a different FLD. Yeah. Right. We appreciate it. All right, so thanks for watching, man. Happy birthday to you and to every other fan out there. You guys rock. Thank you so much. And uh, we will talk to you tomorrow. Caught you off guard, didn't I, buddy? Oh, that's how we roll. <laughs> so, yeah, temperature so, school. Was, I was about to start the show, so. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. Max, why don't you? Ready? So, so. Oh, I thought you were going to do it again. Okay. No, so, I'm so not going to do it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, while it'll get that while achieving an electric only range Sorry, you got of a little, uh, yeah, what's, what are you f***ed up? No, it was interference. <laughs> Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.